the Eiffel Tower. The symbol of Paris. Its construction began in 1887 and lasted for over 26 months. It towers 321 meters high and for 40 years it was the world's tallest man-made structure. Despite its lightweight appearance, it weighs some 9,000 tons. A group of architects and workers were employed to design and build this monument. Even if you have never seen these people erecting the Eiffel Tower, you would certainly know that it had been built by a group of people. Now, if somebody approached you and told you that there had once been a large iron reserve in the tower's vicinity, and that in fact, the tower had been formed after a huge explosion, you would judge this to be utter nonsense. The same thing is true for all the other great works of art around the world. The Taj Mahal. the Great Wall of China, the Roman Colosseum, the monumental busts of four American presidents on top of Mount Rushmore. And the pyramids of Egypt. All these works were designed and built by architects and builders. The huge megaliths of Britain's Stonehenge give mute evidence of the existence of an earlier civilization. All these examples demonstrate one truth. Small or large, all structures which require a detailed design and order were designed and built by someone. But what about this endless universe of ours? The extraordinary balance that guides it. The millions of living species all with different characteristics. Thinking that all we see around us came into being as a result of a coincidence is even more ridiculous than claiming that the Eiffel Tower came together as the result of an explosion. Without a doubt, the balance evident in every single corner of the universe was designed by a power. This power is Almighty Allah, the endless power who created everything in the universe with all its splendor. The universe contains endless evidence that proves Allah's existence and might. And man knows all this through using his mind. In a verse of the Quran, 
people are told that they can find the signs of Allah in nature. In the creations of the heavens and earth, and the alternation of the night and day, and the ships which sail the seas to people's benefit, and the water which Allah sends down from the sky, by which he brings the earth to life when it was dead and scatters about in it creatures of every kind, and the varying directions of the winds, and the clouds subservient between heaven and earth. There are signs for people who use their intellect. What you will see in this film are just a few of the countless signs of Allah in nature.